Hi guys, so recently I received a question about how to do speed ramps in DaVinci Resolve which is when you might want your clip to play fast and then go back to slow motion and then back to fast again and then maybe back to slow motion again and well, do it as many times as you want really but sometimes it's used uh, for transitions so your clip might be playing in slow motion and then towards the end of the clip you might want it to like speed up into the next clip so you can use speed ramps for those as well so the controls in DaVinci Resolve is actually much I uh, prefer it to Premiere Pro I think it's a lot easier to do so let's say this is the clip we want to do our speed ramps in so at first we're going to open up a few controls so just right click and then go to retime controls and then right click again and then select uh, retime curve so you will see this uh, speed curve right here uh, if you don't see the details you can zoom in and zoom out uh, you can hold alternate on your keyboard or if you're using a Mac you can press option and then just use your mouse wheel to scroll in and scroll out so you might want to zoom in a bit until you see all these like options and then I'm going to click on this uh, retime frame here and then I'm going to click on retime speed and then I'm going to uncheck retime frame because I think this is give you a better idea this is give you a better idea of what your clip is actually doing. So basically right now as you can see this clip is just playing at 100% so just normal speed, normal speed. And this graph down here is basically the speed of the clip. So right now our clip is playing at a constant speed, so it's just a flat line all the way through at 100%. So let's say I want the uh, clip to play along at a normal speed until this lady kind of picks up her phone and then I want it to turn into slow motion at this point. I'll put the play here at this point and then I'll select our graph. So just left click and then I'll click this uh, keyframe button right here and then you'll create one keyframe and then maybe I want the, the, the clip to play at slow motion for maybe about until here and then go back to normal speed again. So I'll create another keyframe right here. And right now you can see that our clip is split into three different sections. So this first section, the middle section, and the last section. So let's say we want the middle section where she's looking at her phone right here to play in slow motion. We can just click on this option right here and then go to change speed and then change to let's say 25%. So right now you can see that in this section it's playing just at a normal speed. And then as we cross over to this middle section it's only playing at 25%, so slow motion. And then when it gets back to the next section, it will start playing at 100% again. So as you can see from the graph, it's quite clear what's going on. So in the first section, our clip is playing at 100%. So the line is higher right here. And then once it gets to the middle section, the clip is playing at 25%. And then the last section, it comes back up at 100% again. Now, oftentimes we don't want the change in speed to be instantaneous like this. So we don't want it to be like 100% then suddenly within one frame it goes back down to 25%. We might want a transition to be smoother. So it's like maybe slowly start to slow down from 100% and then slowly slow down, slow down, slow down until it gets to 25% speed. So to do that, it's very simple. Just click on the keyframe and then on this option right here, instead of a straight line, we will just change it to a curve. So right now you can see already that the speed change is much smoother so it doesn't just instantaneously go to 25% to 100 just like a like this keyframe it slowly like ramps down basically that's why it's called speed ramp probably so if we play it we can see that you see the speed gently slow down so from 100% it slows down and then gets to 25% now this curve right here, the shape of the curve, you can change it to whatever you want. As you can see there are these two arms, so you can actually click on it and drag it out to make the change slower and smoother or you can like make it like faster. Or you can have the shape not be symmetrical, so I might hold down control on the keyboard. If you're using Mac then it will be uh, command and just hold it down and then left click and you can just drag one side. So right here I want the change on this side to be like smooth and gentle. Then it gets faster, 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 and then it suddenly hits at 25%. So if you play it now, you'll see that initially it'll slow down kind of slowly and then start to slow down more and more and more until it gets to 25%. And then on the other side as well, I can do the same thing. I can just change it to a curve. Maybe I want to change at the beginning back up to be slow. And then as it gets towards 100%, I want it to change faster and faster and faster until it gets to 100%. So we play it. You see, it starts to increase speed and then gets really fast really quickly just like that and that might be a bit of stuttering because my machine is not the most powerful machine in the world so I do apologize for that
Now let's say you want to change the speed of your clips again. You don't actually have to always come up to these options and change speed and you know change it to 100 or 75 or 50. You can actually click on the different sections of the graph. So let's say you want the first section of the clip to be faster. You can just click on this section and just drag the line up. So from 100% you can see it's faster. Now it's playing 120, 130, 140 and you just drag it as much as you want. Or you can slow it down if you want to just drag the line down. So it's only playing at let's say 70 90 percent or whatever you wish and also if you want the middle section you can make it slower just drag the line down or drag it up up to you and well the same with the last section and of, of course you can increase the sections as well just click on this button so you can have like another keyframe at the end where it slows down again that's all up to you or if you want the clips to uh, the section to begin at different points you can always change that as well so let's say i want it to start a slow motion instead of here and i want to start it all the way here when she's just like looking at her phone right here so I actually can just click on a keyframe and it's drag it to the left to the playhead right here so now if you play it again you can see that right now it's normal speed and then it starts slow uh, slowing down right here even before she lifts up her phone so you can just like drag these keyframes around as you wish and just well there's no limit to what you can do really <laughs> Or if you really want, you can use the controls up here as well. Although usually I prefer to do on the graph because you can kind of see uh, more clearer, uh, see clearer what you're doing. But if you want, you can use the controls up here. So let's say you want this section to be faster. You can just click on the top white uh, icon right here on the top part and just drag it in. So this, this part is actually playing faster. So it's lasting like the, the clip will play quicker and it will just last less. Or you can drag it out so the clip will play for longer and basically you will basically play slower basically so right now you can see it's at 70 percent or if you want it to be faster you can just drag it in it's playing at 200 percent or if you want to change the point at which you know the section change again you can let's say i want the slow motion section to begin all the way here i can click on the bottom part of the white uh, the bottom white part and just click this part and then just drag to the left to the playhead and now the slow motion part or the, the middle part will begin all the way at this this keyframe right here so basically the top part of the, the top white part is to change the speed of the clip and the bottom white part is to change the position of key for frame where one section transition to another. Okay, I think that's pretty much it on how to do speed ramping in DaVinci Resolve. I hope it's not too complicated and it answers your questions. But to be honest, I think all the controls and the curves and everything is just much clearer and easier to see and easier to use than the ones in Premiere Pro. Every time I try to do speed ramping in Premiere Pro, I just get so annoyed because the controls are just so small and fiddly. Um, unless maybe I'm doing something wrong where I just can't seem to like increase the size of the control for some reason. But um, yeah, anyway, I hope it... Uh, answer your question or if you have more questions you can uh, maybe ask in the comment if I happen to know the answer I'll try and answer best I can and I guess this is pretty much it for today uh, bye